WWE Bragging Rights. Welcome everyone to Boy One Two Three Jim presents WWE Bragging Rights. Where tonight we look at Raw and SmackDown, two shows of the week on the main roster. We look at the highlights and the important things of each show. And we try to see which show all together was better than the other. So tonight we're going to find out who gets bragging rights. And this idea has been building up for two weeks now. And today, today, we put it together and we get it through. And there's only one word I can describe this idea. Exactly. So Monday Night Raw starts off with Rusev and Roman Reigns and Lana. Well, let's go further detail. Roman Reigns came out first, talking about his lineage, his his family never wanted the US title besides him. And then Lana comes out and she's requesting a rematch in the honor of Rusev. Roman Reigns disrespecting Rusev. Lana's telling him you should not say that. You should sh you should sh show respect. To my husband and Rusev. Rusev came down later on and then they both brawl again on Raw. And after Roman Reigns got kicked so bad that he got kicked into the crowd. And then Ro Rusev walking off with the US title like it is. And then Roman caught him up by the stage, hit him with a, you know what I'm gonna say, Superman hose, and knocked down Rusev and said, you know what, Rusev, you'll get your, your, your rematch, your title rematch inside Hell in a Cell at. The Hell in the Cell pay-per-view on October 30th in Boston, Massachusetts. Now, to me, I don't have a problem with this segment. This segment was actually decent. You know, compared to Stephanie and McFoley, this is better. Far. Like, this is far more better than that. Just saying. Because Stephanie McMahon is full cringe with her promos. It's as simple as that. And uh, don't forget, I gotta let me get something to get out of the way before I go on to the next part. Uh, Zayn versus Tyler Sunil did not, did not like that at all. But saw Zayn on TV, why not? You know, um, Enzo and Cass they did the thing. I like the breath, what they did with the breast cancer thing, but it was a little bit cringy. But at the same time, you know, it's Enzo and Cass. Yeah, how could you not? You know, they had a little funny thing with it. But speaking of funny. The absolute best segment of the night. Without this segment, Monday Night Raw would instantly lose in this video. Instantly. Alright. Kevin Owens and Jericho are on the ring. Kevin Owens talking about what Seth Rollins said in this video with Michael Cole. And, you know, Kevin Owens said the usual stuff. You know, I broke your ribs, this and that. I, I got you injured, stuff like that. Jericho's like, how about me and you... Go after the tag team titles. I mean, and then Kevin Owens is like, I don't know about that. I, mean, I got the US Universal title, I got Seth Rollins on my case. Eh, I got a lot of things on my plate right now, bro. And then Jericho was like, oh, Come on, man, it's for the tag team titles. It's not like I'm asking to put your Universal title on the line, right? And Kevin was like, oh, oh, shit, he could go after my Universal title. You know what? Yeah, tag team titles, me and you, let's go after the New Day. New Day comes out. Kevin Owens said that Xavier Woods had the best part in the segment. Besides the list, um, but like, yeah, sure, they were challenging and talking about being friends. But Kevin Owens said that, oh, the uh, new day jump uh, are jumping the shark. Kevin uh, and then Xavier, Xavier Woods was like, Kevin, you know we don't swim. And what was the last time you jumped over something? That 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 killed Kevin Owens. And then Kevin Owens was like, you know what, Jericho, put him on the list. That put him on the list. With that for their match, and then you guys saw the picture that Seth Rollins cost them, uh, cost Jericho and Owens a chance to, to fight for the tag team titles. So that happened, and Jericho got a receiving end of the pedigree. Sasha Banks won the women's title again on Raw. Whoopie doo. Like, I'm not hyped at all. That happened. I was hyped. I did my reaction on July 25th. That was good. Now, um, 
Okay, she won the title again. Will she turn heel? I hope she does because she's boring as fuck right now. So she needs to turn heel. That's just my opinion. Of course, you could disagree, but I'm just saying. But that's it for Monday Night Raw. Let's move on to Tuesday Night Semak Get Down. We started off with Kane and Bray Wyatt with Randy on the Titantron. Randy on distracting Bray Wyatt, costing him this match. Not exactly. Bray Wyatt decided to go and chase Randy Orton, trying to play Randy Orton's game, his mind game. So he leaves Kane, basically saying, you know what, fuck this match. You know, Kane beat me at Backlash. What, what do I have to gain in this match? So Bray Wyatt left. He wanted to go look for Randy Orton. And this whole thing kept playing on for the entire night. I did not watch the end of that segment. You know, I heard that Bray Wyatt was... Like, Randy Orton got Bray Wyatt locked in a crate, and then after... Bray Wyatt was, Bray Wyatt left the crate somehow, even though it was locked, thanks to Sister Abigail, Randy Orton went back, he checked in up there. So later, so then later on we had Bliss and Nikki Bella going at it, Carmella got involved because Nikki Bella tossed Bliss into Carmella, and then after the match ended the disqualification, then the, the mixtape, the straight hot fire, Becky Lynch comes out, the women's champion come out, and then Teddy Long out of nowhere. Or Dana Bryan in this case made it a tag team match, which Bliss defeated the champion. Then we have the Dolph Dolphumentary. This was the first out of the two best segments of the night. Because Dolph Ziggler was in the ring, reuniting with Kenny and Mikey with the Spirit Squad. Oh my god, Mikey did the Nikki Bella twirl. Jesus Christ. I'm not saying that's bad, it was hilarious. But at the same time, pause on this. This was stuck in my head. Can't blame me. All right, just pause. So Ziggler was able to be the last man standing. Hit everybody with super kicks except for Miz. And yeah, Swagger Bear Corbin having a match. Corbin. This match ended in controversy because Swagger had him in the paint in Patriot Lock, and then Corbin tried to reach for the ropes, but he looked like he tapped out, and referee called it as a submission. And I can't wait to see how life's gonna go on. Made it, the main segment, the, the part two of the best segments of the night, Ambrose, AJ, Cena, all right? AJ and Ambrose tore the house down with John Cena. They fucking ripped him to shreds. Cena's like, you know what? You know, AJ was like, just a, was like, say, how dare you tie your record with Ric Flair and stuff. So, all that. So, who won? Who won this? Come on. Come on. You know one. Smack the live wins. Of course, on the first episode of Bragging Rights. Because well, you know, this the uh, the Dolphy Battery. The the women's action. I like I care all uh, I care about everything. Raw I, I only care about two things. SmackDown care about everything, okay? Including the women in tag team. Raw I barely care at all. Plus SmackDown, you know, the WWE world title picture. You know, AJ and Dean Ambrose just just calling out Johnson for everything he is and what he always does and what he says. And Cheetos like, you know what? Fuck you guys. You don't like it. Kiss my ass. And he fought them. John Cena lays down Ambrose with the AA. Styles uh, drops Cena with a phenomenal form. And Styles got dropped with a dirty deed by Dean Ambrose on the ramp. But Ambrose standing tall with the WWE World title. Making us think, oh shit, maybe Ambrose might win back the title. But... My gut feeling in my podcast later on today or tomorrow, I will upload. I'll let you guys, I'll give you guys my prediction anyway. So yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that SmackDown won this week? Or do you think maybe Raw this time did better than SmackDown? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right. I also got a question. I got another question. Can you, can you like, hmm, what's the question? Can you handle this? Can you handle that? Can you handle that SmackDown beat Raw again? In my opinion, at least. All right. I'm gonna dance a little bit because uh, the songs, the songs are shit. But anyways, um, yeah, guys, that's my opinion. SmackDown defeated Raw again. Like I said, SmackDown, I care about everything. The Usos being heels, I love it. 
American Alpha trying to get revenge. The uh, Slater and, and he, uh, sorry, Slater and Rhino, you know, try to go out, uh, try to uh, stay, try to, you know, save American Alpha from getting decimated by the Usos and the women, their action and Bliss defeating the champion and Kane and Wyatt going at it with Randy Orton distracting Wyatt and then Wyatt and Randy Orton had their segments in backstage. I mean, Raw, all I cared about was Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, The New Day, the tag team titles, and that's it, uh, and Bailey. That's all I cared about. Oh, and Nia Jax, and that's it. I don't care about no one else. Oh, and Charlotte, by the way. I care about Charlotte, too, by the way. But besides that, I don't, and the Cruiserweights, that too. But besides that, I don't care about anything else on Raw. I just care about everything, not just... Something I didn't care about everything, man. Like seriously, um, fucking, I don't care about Sasha Banks winning the women's title again. I don't. If 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 it was in Boston and Hell in the Cell, I might care a little bit. But at the same time, she defeated my queen Charlotte. All right, I don't care anymore. Now I like Charlotte more than Sasha because I'm sick of this. Charlotte proved to me, you know. Hey, when you're a champion, you got to do what you got to do. And yeah, so when you got the title around your waist and you're main eventing Monday Night Raw, you got, you got, you got a little stroke around there, you know? You, you, you got balls, lady balls you got. You know, Sasha Banks, every, it's the same thing. I'm the, I'm the boss, blah, 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 women's championship, bra and panties, this and that. It's the same old, uh, I'm tired of this. I hope Bailey does not go after that women's title, by the way. Just saying. It's way too early. Let her get it at WrestleMania. Don't do it. But yeah, I care about No Mercy more than Hell in a Cell at this point. But um, what do you guys think, guys? What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Alright, leave a like on this video. Subscribe now for more and follow me on Twitter at Boy Wants to Be Gentle. The link is in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out later.